has the absolute best interest and not that they don't care but yeah i just think for your career and your well-being no one like yourself knows your wants and needs and what you want to do yeah. but also i think then you are able to push for your own life and career and steps you want to take better than anyone for my first contract with orlando city mm -hmm. uh orlando city the usl team that was a one year contract and you know depending on that was i was a rookie coming in so my contract was actually 10 months which was the, which was the length of the season just mm -hmm. about and so you know as you get more experience and you know maybe a better club even those contracts change you have the full 12 month contract or mm -hmm. maybe sign a two year contract and mm -hmm. so with that i was just uh, with the orlando city i was just so excited to be introduced to professional football mm -hmm. and make the most of it and we were in an MLS environment because there was the, that was the first year the Orlando City went MLS mm -hmm. and they had the USL team, which we got treated just as well as the MLS guys. We had the gym available to us, you know, 24 seven. Mm -hmm. We got fed breakfast and lunch. Um, the facilities were a joke, like it's unreal pitches mm -hmm. we trained on. Yeah. Yeah. And so that first um, introduction to professional football, mm -hmm. I was just taking it up, taking it all in and I was like wow this is definitely a level from a level up from what I'm used to yeah and so the thing is with that this the, the the um one of the scary things is because well I've been lucky enough to go to a few different clubs that have similar facilities but some not as good some equal to mm -hmm. but I think the one thing is when you get into an environment you have to take advantage of the things that are available to you mm -hmm. and so I know a lot of players that were started let's say in Orlando City and then maybe their route took them to another club where they didn't have these facilities equipment managers even certain things within the USL that not every club has mm -hmm. and then they're like oh what is this you know they're a bit surprised but like mm -hmm. that's you know not every club has the same amenities and and, and the things you have available to you and so um about the contracts I think you know, for me, I signed up one year, like, like I said, I spent two years there. Yeah. My first year was a bit challenging. You know, there's another player in my position, a right mm -hmm. back, very good player. Um, he was actually on an MLS contract, young player. Mm -hmm. And I did well for myself. You know, I, was, I did, I just put my head down and worked. You know, I earned a starting spot. There were times where he would come in instead of me and then I would come in. So it was a bit of a battle. Yeah. And as you get older, I think it's better. You push each other in a more... Um, in a way that's more positive. Like if the next person starting, you're pushing them, you're still working your hardest because you want to get that spot too. Yeah. But when we were younger, it was a bit more competition. And to be honest, I think it helped each uh, helped us, but mm -hmm. it was a more negative energy, I would say. Mm -hmm. Because if the next person was starting, I didn't feel that same, oh, come on, you know, energy yeah. coming from that person. And so you could call it negative energy, but at the same time, I was like, oh, well, you know what? I don't want to lose this spot. So I'm just going to keep going. Like that's, that's football. And so mm -hmm. um, that coach at the time, he really liked the way I played. And so he signed me for the second year. Um, when I came out of contract with Orlando City after my second year, um, that, was a, that was my first kind of off season, not knowing what I was going to do. And so um, a lot of guys have agents and I did have an agent at the time, but I kind of took it upon myself to make my video from the past two years, make my CV. And I really, I looked online on the USL website, went through all the clubs, all the clubs that I would, like I, I knew, I knew the league a bit now for playing against these clubs. I went through all the clubs that I would want to play for and I knew played good soccer and I wanted to, to kind of explore, went to their websites, went to their contact info and I literally wrote them an email saying, yeah, Zach Ellis Hayden, I've played in the league now for two years. I'm looking for new opportunities, this and that, and sent them my CV and my video and did this to maybe 12 15 clubs um some you don't get a response some are like oh, okay we'll be in touch some want you to come to their open trial mm -hmm. and lucky enough i had two that were like really um taken back first of all but also like mm -hmm. wow this player is taking the initiative to take charge of his own career mm -hmm. because a lot of times and even you know later in my career i, I still have these problems where mm -hmm. you rely on an agent or someone else to make these moves for you and you know, I've learned that no one has, I mean, agents are important, you know, I don't knock that, but I'm just saying, I don't think anyone has your best interest in mind and your career uh, trajectory in mind more than yourself. And so you have to advocate for yourself. 
And, um, you know, I ended up signing for a team in Fresno, California, based off of those kind of inquiries that I made and played two years there. And I, that was also a great, like some of the best football I played, great teammates I met all around amazing experience. And that was based off of kind of pushing myself. And yeah, I had some experience in the league, but as well, I had to kind of let them know, you know, because yeah. people didn't even know I was maybe available. They didn't know I was out of contract. And so you have to do those things. And then um, two years there, and then I had a really good two years and then that team ended up folding. Mm -hmm. And so that was a, I was again in the off season, but I was in a better position because I had a great two years at Fresno, started to make a name for myself in the league. Mm -hmm. And then, so then the, I had a bit more options and then I ended up signing with Oklahoma city and played there two years with energy FC, but it just, um, you know, I think you always have to advocate for yourself, you know, when it comes to contract situations and, you know, sending out videos or whatever it is just because you never know the situation. Sometimes you end a season in a great spot, high, you have guys coming after you. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, other times it's not the same. Maybe you come off not a great season, you had injuries and, you know, you still have to advocate for yourself uh, in both in both situations, I think is important. Yeah, that's huge. And I think that's, that's really, really good insight. Um, I, I took two things from what you said, like um, understanding what environment, right, you're in and taking advantage of it because I think there's so many people who they may be even in a high school environment uh I don't know how it is with you but here in Texas there's some there's a lot of money that actually goes into the high school football but you still have some of the amenities in in these high school environments that are just insane that are just like wow, this is on, on a whole nother level than I've ever seen before and um I see some players and they, and they don't take advantage of it uh, they just kind of are like, well, yeah, that's just that's just what we have. I'm like, you guys have a world class lifting, like you have a world class, you know, like you guys got to go, yep. you got to go make it work. Um, and I think there's so many players who who don't do that. Uh, and then the, the second thing is, and I think take an initiative for what you what you want to accomplish. I think that one of my my favorite quotes um, is uh, from the app that I partnered with our program partners with, which is Techne, and they talk a lot about like taking ownership of your own development. And there's so many people who, who think that because they're a good player, they think that people are just gonna come find them and people are gonna come and uh, say, oh my gosh, you're such a great player. And just listening to your story, it sounds like for you, that's never really been the case. Even if you are doing good, like you're yeah. one of these players who's, all right, I need to be reaching out to try to find that next opportunity. And I think that that speaks about, speaks volumes to your character that you're, you're not gonna just, um, what did you say? You said that no one's gonna advocate for your career like you're gonna advocate for it. And yeah, that's, I, yeah, go ahead. No, that, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. And that's just what I believe in, you know, you know, it's hard to find, I think a good representative that has the absolute best interest and not that they don't care, but yeah. I just think for your career and your well-being, no one like yourself knows your, first of all, your wants and needs and what you want to do. Yeah. But also I think they're, you know, you are able to push for your own life and career and 